For obtaining a manual blood pressure using the one-step method, you will need hand sanitizer, a stethoscope, inflator bulb with air release valve, and an appropriate sized cuff connected to a manometer, also called a sphygmomanometer. First, perform hand hygiene. Next, palpate patient's brachial pulse. Find the medial bicep groove and follow down to the antecubital fossa. Attach blood pressure cuff to patient's arm one inch above brachial artery site with the artery marker index along the medial part of the arm. Make sure the blood pressure cuff is snug. Now put on your stethoscope and place the bell over where you located the pulse. Close the air release valve by turning the dial to the right. Begin inflating cuff by pumping inflator bulb. At the same time, watch the manometer. Pump until the needle reaches about 30 millimeters of mercury above the patient's normal systolic blood pressure, then slowly turn the air release valve to the left to release the air. Release the valve so the needle drops 2 to 3 millimeters of mercury per second. Take note of the number on the manometer when you first hear a clear sound from your stethoscope. This is the systolic pressure. In this patient, it's 119. You will continue to hear a pulse sound in your stethoscope as the needle drops. Listen carefully until you no longer hear a sound. The last clear sound you hear is the diastolic pressure. In this patient, it's 79. Listen for around 10 millimeters of mercury after the last sound and then quickly allow the air to escape. Remove cuff from patient's arm and perform hand hygiene. 